So, Michonne. I overheard your friend call you that. That's a great name. Norma? <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Can you get to the point? I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure, once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. You want to know me? Let's talk. That's what I like to hear. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. I just met Sam today. Really? And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together? Our boat ran into some trouble nearby. The ferry was the only thing in sight. Your boat, huh? Hey, Zachary. Yeah? Get Janie to take a crew down by the shoreline. See if they can find this boat she's talking about. Bring anyone they find back here. If they need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. I'm not telling you shit. I'd rethink that strategy if I were you. You make things difficult for me, I can make things very difficult for you. I know how this whole thing must look to you, I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Since you just met, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big, bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You haven't exactly proven her wrong. You're the one who grabbed us, locked us up. For good reason. She's lied to us before, stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. She's just a kid. Too young to know any better. <laughs> yeah, looks like she fooled you too. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. You give more chances than most. It's not easy. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. 
I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. I'm telling you what I know. I have a hard time believing that. Last question. Where's the rest of my shit? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets, and ammunition, handguns, and a couple of rifles. I've got no fucking clue. Of course you don't. Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact-checking with Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother... Ugh! Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on, man. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. I'm not doing anything for you. Well, if that's how you feel. How long have you two been running around together? Hey, uh long time. We're old family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said you just met. Someone's full of shit. I lied. Had a feeling. Uh! <laughs> You're gonna regret that. Okay. Let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people. You remember, don't you? Ask him yourself. You're starting to piss me off. <clears throat> Damn. That one hurt a little. How many of you are there? It's just us. Uh, us four. Now, Michonne here didn't answer us. So now things have to get a little more interesting. Randall, Look go! Up. Please, I'll tell you whatever you want. Put down the fucking gun! Yeah? You look real threatening over there tied to that chair. Randall, I think you made your point. Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. He lying to us? Try to be kind. He's telling the truth. You should have done the same when you had the chance. Norma, please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get him in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fella. You're brave. Admitted you lied. Save the boy some pain. You hear that, Greg? I hope you appreciate what she did for you today. Zachary, a word in private. 
Hey, you okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are they done with us? Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is it's gonna get worse. Keep it together, Greg. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Even if it didn't look like it. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. And my little brothers can see me now. I've never done that before. Never. <laughs> I'm not like that. Afraid. You'd be stupid not to be scared right now. You don't look scared. You look like you've seen this a hundred times. I knew about the rotters. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't know it was this bad. They know what they're doing. People, walkers, makes no difference. You want to keep living? Trust yourself. No one else. Sounds like a fun life. I don't know. Thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, they're the only reason to live. What if you don't even have that? I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live, so you keep going. But when you stop, Michonne. What did they do to you? Just ask questions. Hey, Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. No matter what, they're gonna hurt you. That's... The least helpful advice I've ever heard. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. I know just where to put you. Jonas, haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here. See, not everyone here lives with squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. God, she just works so hard. What is it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides, fuck Jonas. Okay, fine, Randall. That's let's right. just. You do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that they doing around here. This is how you treat your own people? Only when they need it. Well, whatever you're gonna do, Randall. No, I'm not gonna do shit. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Here. Go on. Get them talking. Where, where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo. Hey, you shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun. I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, then talk. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! I need a location. Now! That's it. Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please. We all need to calm down. Just take a deep breath, okay? Talk to us. I'll stay calm. If you do. Hey! Who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me. Stop! Stop! Don't move! Sam! Greg, don't! It's okay! You think this is okay? Get it together, Zachary! Tell Randall to leave. Then we can talk all you want, okay? Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! 
Stop! Damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too what? far? I didn't... Outside! I, 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 now! Oh, no, 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 Greg! Sam... Oh, God. Craig. <laughs> Craig! Oh, shit. We need to lay him down. I'll find something to stop the bleeding. It's going to be okay, Greg. I don't think it is. Don't say that. Please. Come on, Greg. Come on, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Think of, think of Alex. You're his hero. What will he do without you? Not a, not a very good hero. No, you are. You are, Greg. Please hang on. <coughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's going to turn, Sam. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. I'm so sorry, Sam. Oh, God. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't. I just need another second, please. I can't. I can't let you go yet. Craig. Craig. We need to take care of this. End it. I can't. I just need more time. <sighs> To him. You fucking shot him! I didn't mean to! Do you think that matters? You killed him! It was an accident. I swear, okay? I, I swear! Please! Lower! Please lower the gun. I'll explain everything! We should hear him out. Why? He's a murderer! Please! You're not leaving this room, you son of a bitch! Don't, don't, don't do this. Please. We all got demons, honey. And 
ass seats. Fucked up shit in my time. But you, you're a whole different animal. Caged up, just itching to get out. I see it in your eyes. You're a killer. That's what you do. You don't know what I can do.